right. Good morning. It is actually it's Sunday. Friday. That's my son back there. It's Sunday, August 28th, 2016, 11, 9-11 a.m. We're just getting ready to go to service. And he's acting a little bit silly because he's had uh, pancakes with a lot of syrup on it. Um, no chocolate milk this morning. So, and he won't get any if he keeps talking during my little presentation. So I'm just going to keep it real simple. Just kind of wanted to give you a quick update on what's going on in the uh, market statistics so that you know, uh, you know, what's really going on. For you buyers out there, you may be considering that the market is not good for you. But to the contrary, um, every moment the interest rates start to rise, it costs you more money that you can spend, more money that you have to apply towards uh, interest rates versus having... Uh, versus being able to have uh, the ability to spend that on your actual mortgage payment. So what I wanted to look at actually is just kind of, uh, just kind of what the Arizona, Maricopa, Arizona is talking about with regards to, uh, you know, how your home is looking. And this report is generated between July and August uh, 5th. So it's fairly accurate. Just a quick overview of kind of what's going on so you guys can know what's uh, what's the deal and uh, best prepare yourself uh, for you sellers out there. Um, there's going to be a lot more. Uh, there's going to be a lot more uh, things that you're going to be able to take advantage of because your, your property value is at, you know, maybe it's all time high. Uh, probably for the past 15, 16 years. And once I pull up the screen that I want, which is this one. So if you look right here, it's going to give you a statistical year over year. Uh, we know that historically prices on homes start to drop around November, uh, October, November, December, as people are gearing up for the holidays. Um, so please just keep in mind that if you're looking to put your home on the market um, and you can uh, move into another home or have temporary shelter, you're going to get the most money for your, uh, for the sell of your home currently. Um, if you, if you actually are a buyer, once again, your biggest concern is going to be on interest rates. And for you sellers who are, are selling in the 250, 300 price range, uh, and looking to move up to the 400s, 500s, I mean, rest assured, you're going to get a better deal because homes in the four and fives are not, uh, uh, are, are, are going to be a little bit more competitively priced for you. So just be very mindful of that. And uh, I'm looking for this particular statistic right here. And I'm sorry, I'm not able to get it real fast. And... So that way we can get an idea. Let me keep pulling up the same thing. Daddy. Super sorry about this. Daddy, are you gonna get presents for me? Mm -hmm. for, for Christmas? So we're gonna look at the Q2, which is the second quarter. In real estate, we break our months and stuff down into quarters. And what that means is uh, January through March is one quarter. March through May is the second quarter. May through July, August is the third quarter. August. August through December is going to be the fourth quarter. So we're in the third quarter right now. And this is a Q2 watch. If you look at these arrows, everything is looking really good. Average uh, median sales price is up by 7.3% uh, from one year ago. Average sales price is up 3.8% from one year ago. So we've seen significant change. The only thing that's different is the days on market are down um, by 9.9%. Uh, which is uh, probably the difference of about 10 days. So homes are staying on a little bit longer. Daddy. Now, if you look at Maricopa County, uh, now we are actually blowing everything out of the water. This right here represents 2014, 2015, 2016. If you look at how many homes were sold, they actually had more homes for sale and they only closed about 80% of those. Um, same thing right here. They had they had more home sell 
than they actually had to put on the market. But we've had more homes to sell and we've had more homes sold. That means we actually took inventory from 14 and 15 and have been selling it right now. So we're in a great market to do that. Another median sales price are up. So this gives you another idea. Now this is probably gonna be the most important chart that I look at. This one comes all the way down from 2006. If most of you know anything about the market, you know that the market, you know that the market was ultimately at its worst uh, in 2006, seven and eight, and then bottomed out right here. Really just horrible. Came up a little bit and then bottomed out again in 11. So people who have homes that they bought in 2011, you're really in for a great treat if you haven't pulled out any equity or did any other type of financing to the home other than refis. So if you look, we've just been gradually growing. And I don't want you to be a speculator uh, right now about the market, but if you look, we're not too far off from where we were. So I mean, how much more, how much more money do you think you're gonna get out of your house? If you wanna make a move, now is the time before you find yourself in a bubble. And I guarantee these people who bought right here had no idea that their home was going to do this. So, uh, you know, definitely speak to your real estate professional. I prefer it to be me. Um, I trust my skills and ability to give you the right information. But if you do have somebody you're comfortable and confident that can get the job done, then uh, by all means. Uh, we also can give you a breakdown of what your, uh, you know, depending on your zip code in this area. We can kind of just, you know, give you an idea about what your home value looks like in your particular zip code. Um, we can, you know, we can even look at, let's say, my zip code, 85041. And I'm right here. And it says the median sales price is up. Everything's up. And then the average percentage rates of properties to get the value for their home is down. But and the days on market is down you know so uh, all good statistics and charts just keep that in mind buyers out there don't be discouraged that home values are at their height that's good for you because you either jump in the game now or you jump in the game later either way you want to jump in when uh, you need it interest rates are at their all-time low and just something to always keep in mind. Interest rates dictate how much money you can spend. So if you have any questions, my number's at the bottom of the screen. Have a wonderful, blessed day, and I'll be back at you soon. Talk soon. Bye.